You know, Halloween hasn't always been about candy and costumes. Let's take a look back at the historical tradition and find out more about how this spectacular event started. Ghouls and goblins everywhere know that October 31st is Halloween. But did you know that Halloween traditions go back thousands of years? The Celtic people of ancient Europe celebrated October 31st as the last day before winter. To get ready for the cold, they harvested crops and had a party. They also thought it was the time when the spirit world and the regular world were closest together, so spirits could drop in and say hi. People dressed like animals to scare off bad spirits. Over the years, that party turned into Halloween. It's still a big celebration with crazy costumes and scary decorations, but a lot of the fun takes place at night, which can be dangerous. So about 80 years ago, Americans invented a way to keep children busy and out of trouble, trick or treating. Now that's a sweet way to solve a problem. And that's Halloween. A thousand year old tradition, that's old. No wonder the baby ghost was crying. Oh wait, maybe he was just crying for his mummy, get it? As spooky and sugar-filled as Halloween can be, it's also a time when we can look as silly on the outside as we might be feeling on the inside. The video taught us that the Celtic people wore animal costumes to scare off bad spirits. Some of us still might dress to scare. How many of you have ever dressed up as a bat or a spider or even maybe a skeleton? They're scary, all right, but bats and spiders are also amazing creatures with awesome creature powers. Even skeletons can be scary, but think about it. We have to have skeletons to hold up our bodies. Let's listen as teacher Susie explains to Sid and his classmates how important bats and spiders and skeletons really are to us and that they're really not scary creatures. Hey, may I borrow your microphone? Oh, sure. Here you go. <laughs> What's so scary? What's so scary? What's so scary about me? I'm a skeleton, okay? I help you every day. My skull protects your brain. That's just for a start. And my ribs protect your lungs and heart. Without my bones, where would you be? What's so scary? What's so scary? What's so scary about me? I'm a spider, all right. No reason for a fright. I weave amazing webs. I'm an engineer. Look at this pretty one right over here. I eat insects, you see. What's so scary? What's so scary? What's so scary about me? Wow, and to think that one time I was really afraid. So I have a joke for you. Do you know what animal dresses up at Halloween and how's a werewolf? Have you noticed that some of our friends are in costumes tonight? Well, can you guess who they are? If you guess PBS kids characters and you're exactly right, let's ask Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy, who are you? I'm Pinkalicious. Notice my beautiful crown and my wonderful wand and my fluffy pink skirt. Anything pink will get you to be Pinkalicious. Wow, Miss Nancy, how about you? I'm Eleanor Wonders Why, and you'll see I have um, Eleanor is a bunny, so I have a bunny face and some bunny ears. Very easy to make these no sew costumes. Yes, exactly right. These are no sew costumes. You don't need anything but the supplies that you have at your house. Would you like to know how to get there? Go to PBS 
www.ghostbusinessmedia.org slash parents. And you're gonna find all these no sew costumes. Daniel the Tiger, um, you're gonna find Eleanor, you're gonna find Pink Alicious, and many, wow, many more of our friends that you can make your Halloween costume. So if you're still wondering what you wanna be this Halloween, here's a great song that might help you decide. What are you gonna be on Halloween? I bet you'll have the best costume ever seen. Will you look scary and spooky or just fun and kooky? What are you gonna be on Halloween? Are you gonna be a princess in a beautiful gown? Dancing and wearing a sparkling crown? Or will you be a pirate with a sword in your boot? With a patch over one eye? I know. Oh, 
All right, so start tracing your bats and your ghosts. Well, these decorations are spectacular, aren't they? And you know why I really like these decorations? It's because you can use just about anything you find around your house. I know you can find some jars, some rocks, maybe even marbles. There's lots of twigs outside this time of year. So just go on a hunt around your house if you're interested in doing these ghost trees. Now, we've got our decorations in place for our party, but now it's time for the food. And Miss Kathy's got some great snacks for you to serve at your party. That is if your momster allows you. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, would you like to tell us all about what you prepared for us today for our party? Well, today, Spooktastic friends, we're going to make some boo nanas and they're so easy to make and delicious and we're making hocus pocus pumpkins and my favorite bat bites would you love to make these at your home yeah. oh those bat bites look so cute today we are going to make bat bites and for bat bites we need or thins, Reese's mini peanut butter cups, some icing, and I had this icing, and with this icing came some wonderful eyes that you see right here, so I didn't even have to worry. Are you ready? Let me give you each a Reese's cup. Now, everybody, Feel the Reese's cup. Try to resist the urge to eat it. And try to resist the urge to eat it. But lucky for you, I have a bunch that we can share in just a minute. How about that? And I'm giving you two bat wings. Who knows how I'm these two bat wings for you. To get those wonderful bat wings, all we had to do was separate an Oreo thin, take off the icing, and then cut it in half. So, you have two bat wings now. You have the bat's body, and now you need just a little bit of what? Ice. Icing to make those bat's wings are you ready? Can we help you? I'm gonna give each of you a little dog. Oh, is this a great idea? Oh, yeah. You are wonderful, wonderful cooks. And I know that anyone that comes to your house for Halloween will be so excited to see all your treats. And so we have another very easy treat for you to make. I'm giving each one of you a wonderful tangerine you can call these cuties, and all you have to do with these wonderful cuties to make a hocus pocus pumpkin is put a celery stick right in the top. And guess what? This is a healthy tree, isn't it? And these are bananas. And all you have to do for a banana 
is cut a banana in half, put a popsicle stick right through the middle, two chocolate chips, and you have your very own dust. And I even put this little um, cupcake holder at the bottom so your fingers won't even get sticky. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look at bananas from. And, boys and girls, my sweet friends that are such great helpers, these are treat bags that you can make at home. This is a plain white bag. You might have a white bag like that you might sit, send your lunches into school. Or, and even if you had to use a brown paper bag, if you could color it and make it pretty cool. And these are just magic markers and googly eyes. And these are some things I cut out. This is a what? What do you think this is? Pumpkin. It could be a pumpkin. Yes, it could be a pumpkin. Could it be a ghost? What else could it be? A fish. A fish, <laughs> okay. A fish? A zombie. Maybe a zombie? What about a skeleton? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can make Frankenstein. Look, we made, I made a giant bat, and this is like a what? Ghost. A ghost. And you can use construction paper and all of these things you have at home. You don't even have to use a googly eyes. You can use flat construction paper, your markers, and you can make treat bags for your friends. Thank you so much. Can I give you a clap? Thank you. You are awesome, friends. Thank you. Well, you really look like you're enjoying your snack. So this is going to be a great party, isn't it? We've got the decorations made. We've got the food ready to go, but we do have something missing. But let me ask you this question first. What monster likes to dance? You know the answer to my joke? What, Dre? Uh, a zombie. A zombie? I love it. I'm going to give it to give you the answer. It's the boogeyman. The oh. boogeyman likes to dance. <laughs> All right, so, you know, a party just isn't a party without dancing, right? Just like LPB would not be the same if we did not have Miss Cherie and her prancing. And she's got a great song for y'all to, to learn tonight. I know you're going to know it. It'll be great to add it to your fun and excitement of your party. So we're going to have to get up. Everybody else, get up and let's get ready to dance to Thriller. That was pretty thrilling. Did you notice there were a couple of bats that zoomed by as we were dancing to Thriller? Do you know what else is thrilling? Well, bats are pretty thrilling. There's over a thousand species of bats all over the world, and none of them are blind. So if you ever hear that old saying, blind as a bat, well, that just isn't true. I bet you didn't know that bats aren't birds. They're not even mice. They're mammals. Let's find out more about these spooky creatures from the Wild Crap Brothers. But first, what's the first thing that a bat learns at school? The alphabet, of course. Wild crabs. Hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Martin. Together, we're the Crap Brothers. But tonight, we're the Bat Brothers. Because we're out looking for bats. Maybe we can find one sleeping in its day roost. Oh, Chris, how about this? An abandoned mine. Whoa. Come on, let's gear up for a bat cave expedition. Oh, yeah. 
never enter a cave or abandoned mine unless you have years of caving experience. Oh, what an awesome cave. Shh, Chris, listen. Squeaky. Oh, little brown bats. Oh, this bat's starting to wake up. You can tell because he's doing the wake up shiver where he gets his muscles going, warms up his body, and then he'll fly. Little brown bats are so tiny. They're less than half the size of a mouse. Where are you going, buddy? Getting ready to fly? There he goes. Oh, imagine if we could hang out with these little brown bats wherever they go and do whatever they do. Imagine if we could fly like bats and had all their awesome bat powers. What if? We just watched a wild crap video and bats have an amazing creature power. Do you remember what it was? Yes, it's echolocation. So I'm gonna show you a PBS Kids game today that uses echolocation to find things and it's a bunch of fun. So if you will remember that we always go to pbskids.org slash games, and so I'm on the PBS Kids Games website, and I'm gonna come down here in this green bar where it shows all the PBS Kids characters. And I'm gonna click on this left arrow here because I'm looking for Cyber Chase. Cyber Chase is the uh, character that has this echolocation game. And here I see Hacker, and that says Cyber Chase. So I'm gonna click here. When I wait, get to Cyber Chase's website, I'm going to click on games. There's a lot of really fun Cyber Chase games here, but we're going to go to Echo Explorers. So let's go ahead and start this game. I'm going to click play. Next, another night without bats. So many apple cactus flowers but only one apple to show for them. Where are you, bats? Where, oh, where have you gone? I need your help. My famous cactus apple juice is Digit's favorite drink. He looks forward to it every summer. But this year, we haven't had any cactus apples because there haven't been any bats. The bats pollinate my cactus plants, carrying pollen from flower to flower to help the cactus apples grow. We need the bats to pollinate the plants to keep our ecosystem healthy. Next. Turns out that Hacker is behind this bat catastrophe. He's terrified of bats and trapped them in a bunch of caves so they can't get out to pollinate. Can you help the Cyber Squad rescue the bats? and help my cactus apples grow again? Your mission is to navigate through different caves to free the bats. For each cave, you must collect three parts for a machine that can break through a wall hacker built. It's too dark to see in the caves, but you can do something that bats do, and even some people who are blind. It's called echolocation. You can send out sounds and use the echoes to bounce back to locate the objects you need to free the bats. You've entered a cave to help rescue the bats. Let's practice using echolocation to find an object. You can use the arrow keys, click, tap, or swipe to move. Now try moving one space east to B1. B1 are the coordinates that tell us the exact location of that space. It's almost like the name of that space. Okay, so I'm gonna click on B1. I'm using my mouse, but if you had a iPad, you could also touch with your finger. B1, now you'll send a ping. You can send it north, east, south, or west. Let's send a ping east. Select E to send an echo bounced back. That means your ping hit an object. It might be a part of the cave crasher you need. When you send a ping, 
you lose a little battery life. No battery life means you can't send pings. Move three squares to the east to E1. E1. Now, find the pick up, pick up. Nice work learning how to find an object with echolocation. Now, we will need to find three cave crasher parts to break down Hacker's wall. But remember, there are other objects scattered about that might block your pings. Let's get started. If you want to change your game setup, find the settings button and click, tap, or press enter to change the game settings. If you need help, find the get a hint button and click, tap, or press enter to get a hint. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Hacker built this wall out of boulders. You need to build a cave crasher to smash through it. Next. Let's do it! If you want to change your game setup, find the settings button and click, tap, or press enter to change the game settings. If you need help, find the get a hint button and click, tap, or press enter to get a hint. Okay, so I've got three parts to find parts here. To find. And so here is my character and I'm going to send a ping and I think I'm gonna try north. I wanna ping up this way and see if there's anything here. So I'm gonna send click- Send a ping. North. An echo oh. is coming from square A3. Something is there. So I'm gonna click on it. An object was detected where you are standing. In so we're gonna pick a it up. Pick up. You found a part of the cave. Found a part. The body. Only two more parts to find. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna ping. I wanna ping this row. So let's Since try that. An echo is coming from two squares to the so I'm east. Click on something. The star. An object was detected where you are standing. Pick up. You found a part of the cave crasher, the pebble pusher. Only one more part to find. All right, so I think I'm going to come up here to this top row, and I'm going to ping south and see what happens. An echo is coming. And I found a ping. D. Two. I'm going to click on it. An object was detected. And I'm going to pick, pick it up. up. You found a battery pack. Found a battery, battery pack. Life increased to 22. Okay, let's see. I think I might come down on this D bottom row one. and ping west, Send a ping west this way your ping was blocked by an object right where you're standing oh select pick up to collect it so let's Batter pick up the object you found something but it's not a cave crasher part oh. it's a skateboard from radopolis keep searching to find items you need to break through the cave wall okay i'm gonna search row two and i Two. Send a ping. Your ping hit the cave. Oh. There's nothing in that direction. Bad Try this top row. D. Send a ping. An echo is coming from square. Oh, something. A. Four. I'm going to click is... on the star. An object was detected. And we'll pick it up. Pick up. You found a part of the cave crasher. The drill bit. You found all the parts. Yay. Let's rescue these bats. We did it. Nice job. Wow, 100 bats. So you can keep on with this mission and rescue more bats. So this is called Echo Explorers. It's a cyber chase game on pbskids.org slash games. Hope you have fun. You may have changed your attitude learning today about bats. You might even want to find out more specifically about bats here in Louisiana. Miss Nancy has some wonderful information to share with you. If you would like to do more like build a bat house or study more about the different kinds of bats and where they're located here in Louisiana. If you'd like to know more about bats, why they're important and the conservation efforts in Louisiana, you can visit the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries website. And once you get there, you can search for bats and this page will come up that you see. And over here on the right hand side, I want you to notice that there are 
ways that you can help track bat colonies in Louisiana. And so you can also volunteer to monitor bat colonies, which is so cool. So you can fill out this form to monitor bat colonies. You can also um, check out how to monitor houses if you built a bat house to monitor your uh, bats. So lots of very cool information on this Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries website. Just remember to search for bats. We hope you've had some fun today and you've learned some spectacular things. Halloween is so much more than candy and costumes. It's really just about being together and having fun and celebrating this 1,000 year old tradition. So enjoy your time with family and friends and in your community and have a happy Halloween and we'll see you here in November for a truly thankful play and learn. Bye.